Hello, Robert. Good to spend some time with you. We've been all over the world together. That's true. I mean, so our first interview. <laughs> first <on>. interview. <laughs> <laughs> and what I'm, I'm asking everyone that I'm talking to today is um, about their own personal spiritual practices, like how they, what you used to do, how it's changed, and also how it has affected your life. Yeah. Well, my spiritual practice is, it's the most important part of my day. Uh, it's the most important thing in my life, frankly. I've had a spiritual practice since I was 18 years old. Uh, I was studying psychology and philosophy, and I met a man on the program. He was a mature student. Um, that's what the lecturers called him, because we were all 18 and he was 24. So that made him really mature. And he introduced me to meditation. And right then, from the age of 18 all the way up to now, I've practiced meditation. It's the most creative part of my day. Um, I love it because firstly what it does is it gives me a chance to stop. And I think stopping is a real art form in our manic society. You know, we are so manic, we are such a busy generation, and just the chance to stop and to be, I think, is an amazing thing. Um, so often in our life, we're in a mode of getting, doing, thinking, working, wanting something. And just to come back to being, I think is, um, it creates a space in us for something wonderful to happen. And, and the, the meditation has changed over the years. I mean, it's, it's uh, evolved, I suppose, as I've evolved. And it gives me different things when I need different things. So sometimes, for instance, I can just uh, enjoy some being time and I can use my meditation as a chance to listen. So for instance, I can just ask myself a question. I could take a question from A Course of Miracles, like, there's a great uh, meditation in A Course of Miracles, which is, what would you have me do today? Where would you have me go? Well, what would you have me say and to whom? Now, I can just sit and like listen and just think about that for a minute and just get a feeling for, yeah, you know, what, what's important right now? Um, or what I might do with my meditation is I might take a few moments just to think about my day or think about my life and I might ask myself a question. So I'll use a question. Um, and the question could be, this is one I borrowed, by the way, from somebody who I coached. Um, I coached a guy who was head of a multimedia corporation, actually one of the biggest in the world. And he meditates every single day of his life. And his meditation is based on one question. And his question is, what one good decision could I make today? And that's it. And he runs this multimedia empire, but for him, he says, if I can make around about 250 excellent decisions a year, this organization will flourish. I love that. That's so awesome. literally, his meditation is, what's the best decision I can make today? So I use that sometimes. I'll just sit down and I'll just think, OK, I've got a whole day in front of me. What's the best decision I can make today? And then I just listen for that. And I guess what I'm doing, Reed, is I'm looking for that part of my mind that is more intelligent than just my intellect. I'm looking for that place in my mind that maybe sees the bigger picture, that has a handle on the truth, uh, that isn't so busy or so neurotic, and it can just, it just says, hey, this is the thing to do today. You know, uh, spend some time with the children. That's the thing to do today. Um, talk to Holly. You know, that's the thing to do today. Whatever it is, it'll, it'll come. And so I can use the meditation in that way as well. Another way I like to use meditation simply is just to consciously dedicate the day to something. So I might decide just to, you know, having sat in, in, in quiet for a while, I might just say, look, today is going to be about um, enjoying my life. And then I might just think, OK, so I'm going to dedicate my day to enjoying my life today. Or I might take something from A Course in Miracles. There's a lovely line in A Course in Miracles which says, today belongs to love, let me not fear. So then I can think about that for a moment and say, right, if I was to dedicate today to love, how, how might that make a difference to my day? And, and so in this way, what I find is, is that meditation is incredibly creative because instead of life happening to you, 
you know, you're actually thinking about, well, how can I happen to life? And, and, and more than that, it's like, how can I just be open and receptive to what's happening so that I can show up in a way and maybe be really present, really, really present. And then after that, what I try and do is I try and take the meditation into my day. So I'm trying to find moments in my day where I can just stop and think. And, and I, I'll play all sorts of tricks to make that happen. <laughs> you know, I mean, I've got my lovability cup. I mean, that gives me a chance just to stop and think. Um, I've got my watch, you know, my watch, which, you know, instead of saying one, two, three, four, five, just says now, 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 now. I mean, when I look at that, that gives me a chance to stop again. And then instead of getting lost in the daily blur, instead of being manic and busy and hyperactive in ways that I know how to do oh so <laughs> well, you know, hopefully it gives me a chance to stop, take a breath and actually be in my day rather than just trying to get through my day. And I think that's one of the great things that meditation does for me. 